Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the book I read, Donald Trump's How to Get Rich. In this video, I'm going to be basically going through the main points of this book, what I think of it, basically analyzing it, giving my opinion, and basically talk about what I learned. Before I read this book, I was never really a reader, and every time I read a book for school, it would be over a course of a few months because it never really caught my attention, it was boring to read. I read this book in around a week. Uh, I actually finished reading it like uh, five days ago or something, so hopefully during this video my memory of the book isn't too sloppy. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so just before I get into this book and the uh, stuff within it, I just want to basically say what you got to see from this book, like what it's got to be about and basically what to expect. As I said, it's by, about Donald Trump and by Donald Trump. Uh, and he, in this book, he not only tells you how to get rich, he tells you like the behaviors you need to put towards something and how to react. And he goes really deep in, into things, like the little things that basically build you up to being rich. And he also talks about himself and it's, he uses a lot of like scenarios like that um, he's experienced. He had so many things that basically give you a life example and it really teaches you and makes you understand it much more deeply. He also talks about his personal life and uh, how the people around him affected him and how to even act towards um, like, you know, people who are, I don't know, doubting you or whatever. He talks about all of that. And this book is great for people who, first of all, are interested in Donald Trump and would like to know more about him because he is a very interesting man and I've learned that while I've been reading this. but. Uh, this book is for people who basically, not obviously how to get rich, but uh, that's all. That's always up to you. Like it's not a guarantee that you'll get rich, but you'll. I guarantee you, you'll learn something. This is for people that just are looking to, to learn something new. Anyway, now I'm going to get into the different parts of the book and the different points that he brought up. All right. Okay, so to start us off with the book, I'm going to talk about the first chapter of the book. Trump talks about. Uh, business and management so this is in a say a setting of business this will be basically how to run a business so first thing for business and management he talks about how it's important to be a general and what he means by that is uh, all your calls all the calls you make basically you hold the responsibility for yourself and also your troops. Learning how to make the right calls is very important and you need to take into account of everyone who's getting a, could be affected or is getting affected. Say you're in a business in a work office, you know, you make you make a deal and you make a deal or something and you need all your employees to, I don't know, go to a different building or, I don't know, uh, do something that they are incapable of doing or can't do, you know, it might affect their personal life. So you always need to take into account the people around you and your employees. Trump says when you're running a business, it's very important to uh, have trust. Trust, I reckon, is one of the most important things, especially like when getting like hiring someone or when you're working with someone. Trust is trust connects everything. You know, everything you do and all the you know old things that need to get done. Trust is a component of everything. You know, you, things will get done faster with trust. You'll less stress because you know it can be done and to do that you need to find trustworthy employees or trustworthy people around you you need to pick who you're working with and that's very important whatever you're doing you need to have someone that is most competent and you're very and they're trustworthy or things will get done and uh, basically everything's got to be held up so going on the uh, same path of employees and having trust you also when you're picking your employees you also want to uh, look for some other things. Trump says you don't. It's always best not to just look for the degree they have or the qualification they have because that doesn't always turn out to be the best. You want to look for people that have passion, you know, in what they do, and say someone's more qualified. They may be good at like I don't know certain things on paper, right? But um, they might not fit the job. And someone who's less qualified but knows more about this or has the passion for what they, for they do and they're curious and just have all these sort of traits that make them want to work harder and do better you know sometimes they fit the uh, job better so you always want to test and test your employees just to see basically how they hold up with the job so finding the right attitudes towards the job can 
be a lot a lot of the time much more important than finding the right qualifications because you know have the right qualifications won't do the job well you know it's not what they like or whatever so another important thing to know when managing a business and employees is to manage the person and not the job because everyone what i mean by that is everyone works differently you know what i mean they might organize their what they do at different times differently to others so say you're looking for someone to do this right for a certain job and like oh they're not doing it right you know they're doing it slowly or you know they're not doing how i think don't take that as they they, they can't do the job. take that as they have a different way of completing their task you want to learn how different people work to get the to get the most out of them you know trump shows trump actually showed an example he told an example of someone he knew and he said he had a worker that uh basically it looked like he was doing nothing and all these uh fellow workers were complaining to the boss and he said he said uh you only gotta help him keep let him keep doing what he's doing you know bring him coffee help him out encourage him because he came up with a idea that made us millions and uh this is just his way of thinking so people work differently learn to get the most out of people and to find the best employees you need to learn how to manage them and not the task you know what i mean so to keep a consistent rhythm in business and to never uh lose it you always need to stay focused and what i mean by that uh is obviously you need to concentrate on what you're doing but uh i mean don't just get stuck on like you're doing the business don't just do the business fucking the business you need to think about everything that's around you say you're going Say you're going on a trip or something and something to do with the market or something you should get into. Like a, um, say you're a businessman, you just, you're not in a specific field, but uh, you just, you need to know how the market flows and different things, new trends, right? Uh, say you go somewhere and you, you want to pay attention to how things are going, you know, what people are interested in. So you want to, you want to get... And that's how you get first-hand information. You get your own. You'll get your own experience, and your own experience is the best information to make decisions. What I mean by that is, say you go somewhere, you realize something yourself. You know, it's not someone tells you or you read about it. It's always better to do it yourself. So it's very important to focus on your surroundings and all these new things because they end up affecting. You might be going well, but then all of a sudden, boom, it drops because you haven't been focusing on it, on the world. Yeah. So never lose your momentum, and. Um, you have to be able to adapt and be open to new things and always look for something because uh, trends always pop up. You know, it's not, it's not always the same. You can't just always have to keep, do the same thing for years. You always have to change somehow. And that's a, a good way to uh, have a successful business. So now I'm going to have a talk to you about your, like, your career in how to get rich. So we just talked about managing a business. Say you got a business and you just want tips. That's good. Now we're talking about your career and how to create opportunities and stuff like that, basically. So one thing uh, that I read about in the book is how golf is a very good way to make money and to get yourself known. Donald Trump, he has his own golf courses. He started off by just playing golf. And uh, you meet a lot of people there. And a lot of people that play golf usually are wealthy, successful people. Well, can be more likely to find him there than somewhere else. So he said, very good to play golf. And that's why opening opportunities for yourself is so important because, yeah, you can, it's, it's always good to build it from the ground up, but uh, to find people to help you or to find connections or just to, it's always good to get support. And going, finding opportunities like playing golf is a good idea because, uh, you know, find someone who give you tips about this, find someone who maybe wants to do a business with you or whatever. So create opportunities for yourself as much as possible. It could be playing golf, it could be uh, going to exhibitions or you know stuff like that. Finding different people, getting connections, creating more opportunities, as many as, many as possible, because that'll give you a better chance. Another very important thing when you are making your own career and controlling your uh, future, is you need to learn to trust your gut because the decisions you make determine basically everything. And to learn to trust your gut, you need to, or you need to basically have instincts and learn your instincts and basically watch your mind and body's telling you. 
And how you do that is Trump recommended reading this guy named Carl Jung. He talks about uh, like your brain and how you, it, your mind and your con the consciousness and everything about that. And uh, how your subconscious, which is, we actually did a video about uh, stuff about consciousness and stuff, like and stuff like that. So you can go check that out. And he, he talks about how the Carl Jung guy talk talks about consciousness and how uh, like observation just he talks about that and that help if you read about stuff like that and do stuff like meditation and uh, mindful things like that it will help you evolve and build your instincts and and learn teach you to trust your gut and trusting your gut also comes with experience even if it's the wrong decision sometimes it's it's experience you know you learn you learn from it and uh, you learn to trust it and because it's always better to go with your decisions and not you can get other people's recommendations but in the end it comes down to you so learn to trust your gut and uh, things will go your way when uh, you have to think about the future you always have to think positive and visualize how it's going to be without a vision you're not going to get there you can't just you know wing it as you go hope for some, hope for the best you know so build a vision and then start so before you go into something like a project or whatever sort, you need to know how it's going to turn out. Okay, so to have success, you need to learn as much as you can from others who have had success and just others in general around you to basically learn as much as possible and to succeed. And that's why it is very important to reflect. And by reflect, it could be reading, it could be uh, just thinking about the day it could be researching and uh, stuff like that. Or it could just be uh, as, as simple as uh, writing down notes for the day and then reading them at the end of the day or whatever. Because reflecting teaches you to improve and uh, it teaches you to evolve. Because you can't just be stuck in the same can't just be stuck in the same thing all the time. So improving and evolving and more success comes from learning more and learning more. Reflecting is really good for that. And speaking of learning, you always always have to do your own homework in order to get first-hand information to learn the as close as possible to the truth or what it is as much as possible because you need first-hand information always beats second, third, whatever hand information. That's why you need to go to the source where if you say you need to find out about something in a foreign country, you should always, Trump said, I always flew to that country and personally talked to them. You know, I didn't want to just hear, hear one, of, one of my employees or connections tell me about what they said because first hand information is always the most clear and you always get the most out of it. So do your homework and f always look for first hand information or the closest hand information as much as possible to ensure it's the right information. Okay, so now onto the next segment of this book, I'm going to talk about negotiation because in business, this is for business, but it can negotiation can apply to your whole life, which is great. That's why this books like this are great because they don't just apply to business and making money. You know, they apply to your life in every way. So when you're negotiating, you always want to think about both sides and not just yourself because. Yeah, you can try get the. It's always important to try get the best deal. But if the other side's not happy, you can forget about forget about any deal. So you always want to look in their best interest and learn about what they're doing. So you always want to learn about your the other side or the people you're working with to ensure you get the the best deal. Because if you mess up a deal, future negotiations won't be good for you with the connection with them and others because uh you know say it's a big deal especially. Uh, you'll be known and people won't want to deal with you. So when you make a deal, you always want to think about both sides, make both sides happy, and it'll make you more, it'll be better for the future for other negotiators to, you know, be comfortable with you and your connection with the same, the person you're negotiating with. And a tip that uh, Donald Trump gave is win their hearts. He said, oh, win their hearts and minds will follow. So you want to impress them, give, uh, give them the upper hand at first, you know, Tell them, you know, make it sound good for them, and then their minds will follow. You know what I mean? So always take them into account to ensure a better deal. Yeah, so when you're thinking about both sides, always make sure that both sides are winning because that makes everyone happy. And that's always better. So 
So you always want to pick how you enter a negotiation because obviously the people you deal with are always different. So sometimes you may have to be stubborn. Sometimes it's easy, you know, but you have to know when to do what. So uh, sometimes being stubborn is an asset, you know. Sometimes they, they may be just trying to put on a face, you know, to win the negotiation or to make you feel like uh, you need to take the deal. You need to be stubborn. And as uh, Trump said earlier, uh, win their hearts and the mind will follow. So, you know, it's all negotiations are mind game. So, so you always need to pick your attitudes and sometimes being stubborn is good because it can make you have the upper hand on the deal. Sometimes when making a deal, you feel like, oh, I have to make this deal. So you just almost take anything. Sometimes you have to learn to say no and you just need to be patient till the right thing comes along because, uh, you know, pay, good things come to those who wait. So you have to know when to say no or, you know, you might get screwed. So don't feel like you have to do anything. Find the right opportunity and take it when it comes to you. So now I just want to talk about one of the last things in negotiation. Sometimes you'll have to screw your, some people because uh, say they do something to you in the past, don't just, you know, avoid them. Sometimes if it comes along, you just need to screw them, teach them a lesson. This is a lesson for Trump. You need to teach them a lesson and, um, you know, teach them not to mess with you. Because uh, standing up for yourself in the business world is very important to be, to uh, have a successful business. You know, people know not to mess with you uh, and it'll, and it'll basically, it just helps with your confidence too and uh, the, the state of negotiating with you. So now that I've told you some tips and tricks for negotiating and some rules, so I say negotiation can apply to your life, you know. You learn how to negotiate. It's also, it's also good to read books on it, you know. I can tell you some things, but read books to get a better understanding. Uh, so it applies to your life, you know. It can help you get, get out of situations where you need to negotiate your way out of things. It can save you money along the way, you know, because, uh, you know, save money there with negotiation skills, save it here before you know it, it's actually worth something. And uh, also, negotiation can help with just your communication skills. You know, negotiation is a very uh, mind mindset way of talking to people you know you need to have a mindset going in it's a mind game so it's a it's a it's a good way to learn learn about people and how to communicate with them all this sort of stuff helps with life skills and negotiation is very crucial for being successful so one of the last things i want to talk about with having success and getting rich is your lifestyle your lifestyle determines everything because you don't have the right lifestyle things will get done it won't be consistent and uh you'll be stuck you know so you need to pick your lifestyle according to your situation you know whether you have to wake up early you have to learn how to wake up early you need to have discipline and uh because Trump, he wakes up very early and he reads because that's what he needs to do to basically get him focused for the day. He, ne he needs to do that. You need to find whatever suits you to get the most out of what you're doing and to basically stay consistent and have a routine because a routine in things where you need to make money is very important because uh, you'll, you'll lose focus, you'll lose momentum. So, yeah, choosing your lifestyle is very important. And when I talk about lifestyle... I could also be talking about uh, not just yourself and your team, but you need to talk about basically, say you're on business, Trump, in Trump's case, he, has to, he wears suits and ties and nice clothing. He thought at first that I could just wear a cheap suit and no one noticed, but he says, hold yourself up to a higher standard. Well, especially in his case where he is, he's with development and all, and a very big, uh, large development with a lot of money involved. So he has to press. So find suit dress for your occasion for your situation because sometimes you have to impress people or sometimes you have to make yourself stand out all right so now i've talked just a little bit about lifestyle i just want to basically start concluding and saying some important things that uh, i think you should know so say you're an adult and you have children it's always important to teach your, teach your children everything you do uh, and basically take them with you everything my father actually does that a lot so I'm grateful for that 
So if you're an adult with a with kids watching that, always always uh, include your children into activities that could teach them because you know the experience with actually being there, whether it's meetings or you know you're dealing or whatever, uh, it's always good to teach them. So and it's that experience is the best way of learning. Find your way of doing things because everyone works differently. Everyone, everyone does things differently. So you need to, you read about everyone else, find tips from everyone, but you always need to find your niche in everything you do. You know, you know that's having a routine is important. So you need to find your routine, what works best for you, and uh, things like reading and finding about other people can really open you up to ways of you know doing stuff, whether it's whether it's your uh, like your daily routine, whether it's your how to negotiate or whatever business stuff, you need to learn off other people and find your own information through homework and find what works best for you. Because once you have momentum in everything you do, once you have everything flowing, everything just you know fall, comes in together and everything just runs. So I may have missed some things in this video from the book. So in this, I just basically just talked about the most important things in the book and gave my, like went deeper into it and talked about it myself and basically all my understanding from this book. And I continued on the points that he made, Trump made and stuff like that. I, I really like the book. You should pick it up if you like the sound of it for this video. He talked about in the video about he was on the show Apprentice in the early 2000s. I didn't really talk about that. Uh, because it's not really about how to get rich, but I guess if you read it, it gives you more of an insight on how to get rich, but nothing straight up that I can really talk to you about. And he also talked about what he does in a uh, day, in a week, in a week, and how he, he runs things. So if you want to learn about basically how to find your, what your system is, or get some tips on that, in this book, there is a chapter where he talks about stuff like that, what he does in a week. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. This book for me is uh, up up there, one of the best books I've read. Reading is it's kind of something that I'm really getting into now, and I really like this book, so you can go check it out if you want to learn about this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry if this video is a mess. It probably is. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.